We're here with Jim Tucker. He's the chief projectionist for the TI Founders IMAX here at the Science Place. Jim, let's talk a little bit about the IMAX theater here. Um, first off, the IMAX film is a little different from normal film, isn't it? Quite a bit different. It is uh, currently the world's largest film format. It's basically uh, 10 times bigger than regular 35 millimeter film that you see in regular movie theaters and uh, three times bigger than your 70 millimeter road show, which is about like that. that big. So the film starts out here on reels and winds up to this projection? Yeah, uh, okay. basically got the booth divided in about three different areas. Real unit here, we can, uh, we can run two movies, uh, one, one to go, and one to show. <laughs> One's uh, usually rewinding while the other one is uh, uh, threaded up. This area here, the projector, uh, houses one of the most powerful xenon lamps. It's uh, 15K, and uh, what they say, it's, if you placed it on the moon, uh, you can see it from the Earth. That's how bright it is. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty powerful. Let's talk about the uh, the theater itself. Yeah, the dome it's screen. screen. Right. It's pretty uh, unusual. Right? Yeah, we've got a screen that's about eight stories high. That's about 80 feet in the air. And uh, it's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big? Yeah. Pretty good sound system in there, too. Oh, yeah. We the sound system you can see probably in the back. We've got... Uh, Six-track mag, analog, and digital sound. With everybody that realistic experience. Right. He's projection here at the IMAX Theater. Andy, tell us a little bit about this film we're holding here. This is IMAX film. Here. Yes, that is uh, IMAX. Uh, the technical term for that is 1570. And uh, that means that if within one frame of film, there are 15 perforations. Okay. And that uh, is different from the 70 millimeter that they show at the movie theaters. In fact, that it would go through the projector vertically like mm -hmm. this. And one frame would be five of these perforations. And to increase the image area on this, they turned it sideways, sideways. run through horizontally, and increased that to 15 frames to get the uh, to the image area to, to blow a picture up that big and to keep the resolution intact. So unlike normal film, which has the audio actually on, this right. is different, right? Right. That's another thing they used to increase the uh, picture area is they took the magnetic sound stripes off of the old 70 millimeter film that they use in, in Hollywood and increased that image area out all the way out to the sprocket holes. Okay. And as you saw the sound source uh, earlier, that's where the sound is going to come from. And it's, it's electronically synced up from the projector to the sound to, to keep it in sync for the entire film. No wasted space on this No wasted time. space at all. This is, seems like it's pretty tough film. Yeah, because of the wear and tear of, of, of running that much film through the projector at a high rate of speed, they had to come up with a stronger base for the film so that it would not uh, do any damage to the film. So that uh, film right here is a, is a mylar base, so it will not break or tear. You can try as you, as you want to tear it from the sides or whatever. Oh, it's and, pretty sturdy. And it won't, <laughs> it won't do it. Anymore.